Hi guys, welcome again. Today I'm going to talk about conditioning. In many martial arts, they achieve resistance by hitting the body. But this is an external approach. And as Choga Praying Mantis is an internal art, I'm going to reveal to you what is our approach as an internal system. So as I said, today I'm going to reveal the differences between external conditioning and internal toughness, which has also resulted in a resistance of the body, but the sources are different in these two kinds of approaches and the qualities are also can be easily differentiated. In external conditioning, you make uh, the body resistant on the surface by constant hitting and you get used to it, you get used to the pain and also you will be able to take kicks and uh, punches. In internal development as we call iron shirt or golden belt, it starts from the inside and it's expanding and finally you will be able to take kicks and punches so for the outside looker it would might look the same but the quality is very different if you are an internal practitioner and then the, the sensation of someone who's hitting you is like uh, hitting a big rubber ball or a rock or a wheel of a, of a bus so it's not rigid it's very flexible but still cannot penetrate through also in case of internal toughness the practitioner doesn't require muscle tension to take the hit so the body can remain relaxed you can stand even can stand relaxed but your body will be still able to take punches and kicks another attribute of an internal toughness is that the body is work as one unit so once you have this internal body chain and connection and then you have the feeling that you can absorb the punch and kind of giving back the force so it it's not coming into your body but it stays on the surface and when your level is higher you can give the power back you you might ask the question if there's no hitting or no conditioning exercises in internal arts then how to develop this the answer is very simple in the foundation exercises which are developing power it's also included normally in ballistic martial arts you train everything together it's not like in, in a fitness program where you can train for different muscle groups you train everything in a whole you develop all the skills in one go in that case why would people still do conditioning in this system does it have any benefits or any use or it has no use as I said, it's not for developing iron shirt or golden bell, but still, it's a good way to test your skills, what you have achieved. So, if you developed good foundation already, it is, once it's for testing, and also it is pretty good fun, because you can enjoy it, it makes your blood circulation go, and at the same time you can still develop your surface, your skin to get used to it and also you just get used to the feeling that you get hit so you won't be scared in a real fighting situation. So when is the right time to start to do conditioning? In the beginning stage I would not recommend until you have a good strong internal power until you can take it because, as I said, it's not necessary to do it. 
you can have a very good level in Choga Praying Mantis system even without practicing conditioning. You can test yourself but as I said it's not a necessary uh, tool to do. You can you can practice your way through and you can get a very high level still. But once you got your good internal power and then maybe you want to get used to do it and you just go ahead and do it. So is external conditioning better or internal aspect is better? I wouldn't say which one is better or which one is worse. It's just different and the basic difference is the source of the power where it is coming from. Oh, 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 oh,